Nickelodeon, Dora and Friends. Welcome to Fairy World. Kate and Emma stayed at the campsite. Everyone else chased the fireflies into a magical forest where they turned into fairies. Let's follow the fairies and get our marshmallows back, said Dora. She and her friends followed the fairies into a cave. Inside the cave, Pablo used a net to catch one of the fairies. Will you help us find the other fairies so we can get our marshmallows? He asked. The fairy nodded. I promise. The fairy introduced herself as Pine Nut. She led Dora and her friends to the top of a mountain where other fairies were throwing the marshmallows to a hungry dragon. The dragon was roasting the marshmallows with his fiery breath and gobbling them up. Pine Nut said that the dragon protected the fairies from mean goblins called los duendes, who tried to stop them from granting wishes. In return, the fairies fed the dragon. El dragón only eats marshmallows, explained Pine Nut. Dora shook her head. It's not good for him to eat only marshmallows. But he loves them, said Pine Nut. Just then, three dark shapes appeared in the sky. Los duendes were coming. The dragon tried to get up, but he could only groan. He had a tummy ache. We need to get him some good, nutritious food, declared Dora. Rápido! The friends raced to the fairy garden, which was full of fruits, vegetables, and nuts, as well as sweets. Should we bring El Dragón candied nuts or fruit and plain nuts? asked Dora. Fruit and plain nuts, cried Elena and Naya. Caramel apples or pineapples? asked Elena. Pineapples, cheered Naya. Pablo scratched his head. Bubblegum or bananas? He smiled. Bananas! The friends collected the healthy food and raced back to the dragon. The friends wanted to feed the dragon healthy food, but he was full from all the marshmallows. We've got to get the dragon moving so he can build up his appetite, said Dora. Elena knew the perfect workout. Flap your arms like a dragon, she called. Stomp your feet with a dragon stomp and wiggle your dragon belly. After that, El Dragón felt better, and he was hungry again. The friends fed the dragon nutritious food from the fairy garden. Then, Pablo fed the dragon beans to help him build muscle. Now the dragon was ready to take on Los Duendes. With a roar, the dragon rose. Using the mighty dragon strength he'd gotten from all the healthy food and exercise, he chased Los Duendes away. Pine Nut flew up to Dora and her friends. Thank you for helping us. Now we can get back to granting wishes, she smiled. If you'd like to make a wish, we can make it come true. I know what I want to wish for, Elena said. The friends all closed their eyes and made a wish. When they opened their eyes, they were back at the campfire. Elena had a s'more in her hand. It's just what I wished for, she said happily. While she ate it, she got an idea. A few minutes later, Elena presented her friends with a new dessert. They're s'mores, except with fruit. I call them smoots. The friends laughed as they shared Elena's delicious new treat.